everyone it's Christy here and in this video we're going to have a look at Hoffman Mill now it's uh, off an unsealed road on your way to Lake Brockman Luke Brook Okay, so this is it, the entrance into Hoffman's Mill, 11 kilometres. So you've got camping permitted here between the 1st of November and April the 30th. So let's take the journey. The road's not too bad, a little bit bumpy, but I just spoke to the maintenance guys and uh, you know, it gets looked after. Beautiful day here, look at this. Let's go check it out. Okay, so I'm just pulled up here at the entrance. It was uh, easy drive in, not very corrugated at all. Looks beautiful. It says drinking water catchment, please report pollution. Hoffman Mill Recreation Area Camping Fees Apply. seem to be of a really good size. So this is the camp kitchen at Hoffman Mill. Looks great, just one barbecue. Immaculate condition. Table. Wow, beautiful location. This place would be amazing just for bird watching, I reckon. Just gorgeous. And of course there's no one in here at the moment. What's this? What's this thing? Hoffman Mill. On the first day of Sunday in November each year, former residents and family would gather here. On the 6th of the 11th, of the 11th, they 
the 50th anniversary of the closing of Hoffman Mill, which was in 1961. Well, so much history. And uh, my ancestors were involved in the mill industry. There's a, a, a book even about them. So I'm definitely feeling the amazement of, oh, shivers, of uh, walking the land of my ancestors. Definitely, oh, goosebumps all over. Definitely meant to be in here today. The trees are beautiful. Wow. Be beautiful in here in winter too. Let me oh, sorry the focusing on that. Now Hoffman Mill I believe uh, was set up after the Nanga Mill uh, was burnt down. Wow. Okay. No puppies are allowed her into this uh, camping area, so Jackals is uh, staying in the car. But I'm glad we've come in here today because we can have a good look around and there's absolutely nobody in here. So that makes it nice and fresh. So there's the camp kitchen. The barbecue area, I guess, because there's no actual taps in here for washing up. So let's walk over here. Past Mr. Jackals in the car. This is some little eyes looking up. Hi, good boy. You gotta stay in there. Good boy, mummy won't be long. Okay, let's walk over here and have a look at the toilet. So it's kind of a big loop with a loop around this side for a camping area and then another loop up behind the toilet. So I guess the toilets are in a growth, but the middle. Well, pretty flash for a campground. You've got some stairs access there. Disabled toilet. So that's going down into the first loop of campsites here, as I said, and then another loop up behind. Great to sort. Disabled toilet. Nice and big. Well, wow, even has a, a tap. Pretty good facilities. Okay, let's check out the ladies. Ever been here? Two toilets and a hand basin. It's got a few ants on it, but this is a pretty. Uh... Oh, so we have wow. flushing toilets here. That's uh, pretty good. Okay, well, that's. Uh... One of the flashiest toilets I've seen. Looked after and maintained very well. So pretty in here. Okay, back to Jackals in the car. The two mills were built on the site. The first operating between 1919 and 1930 was destroyed by a fire. The second built in 1924 had the distinction of being the first mill in WA to use horizontal bandsaw to break the logs down. So there's a couple of walks that you can do here. There's the Bridges Walk, length is three kilometres, and the Grade 1 Walk uh, is a one hour. Thanks for joining me on this video to taking a look at the Hoffman Mill in WA here. If you'd like to see more of this kind of thing, hit subscribe button. We'll see you on the next video.